Good morning, guys. Good morning, family. Welcome back to Sea Wits World. Welcome back. All right, guys, today we have breakfast. <laughs> First seldom do we have breakfast, so I get kind of excited when we have it. And we're having some keto pancakes, guys. Yep. And we're having bacon, sausages, cheese and eggs. Mm -hmm. And we have some coffee, guys, some coffee. Yep. So anyway, guys, y'all know what time it is. All right, let us pray. Most of all, now it's God. Father, we thank you for this food. We ask that it be nourishment and strength for our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> because, see, I have to look at him because he tried to get in my head and I don't know what's in that head that's coming out. So, <laughs> All right, that's why I looked at him. Today we're going to be talking about um, domestic abuse and when to get out. All right. See, that's when, what I'm saying. I have no yeah. idea what he's going to come up with. Yeah. So, it's not pre-script or anything. Sometimes you just got to get out. You can't stay into certain situations. All right? Because your life is dependent on it in some cases. And not just only in domestic abuse, but it's also in food. You know, some things... Go ahead. Get your plate, baby. Settle. Some things, if you see it's trying to kill you... You got to stop doing it. You got to change. You got to change the way you eat. You got to change what you're drinking. You got to change the lifestyle that you're living. If something is trying to kill you. It's not just a person, but you know, food can kill you as well. Drinking can kill you. Um, it's a lot of things. Drugs can kill you. It's a lot of things. We've, um, through the years, um, people that we've known that have um, OD. You know, on drugs. So there's a lot of things out of here. So you need to know when it's time to get out. Right, baby? Exactly. All right. And I'm yes. talking more than I usually talk, so y'all know. Let him talk because, you know, it would be nice if I would know some of the stuff before we get to the table. You just, you, you, you always have good opinions. That's why I don't really have to, I don't have to fake nothing and coach nothing with you. You always give good advice to stuff okay. and um, I just feel that you know this is the awareness month um, domestic violence well awareness month I can see it out um, then it's good to talk about things because people go through stuff and they need to know more um, a lot of the food that we eat is attributed to the overeating is attributed to emotional things like abuse and stuff like that mm -hmm. that we can't control so that's why we eat so something that we say I'm, I'm gonna eat you know, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. So that's something that you can control. That's what it's your babe. And you know, he brought something to my attention because I um had said earlier that I was gonna tell you guys that, you know, this is also breast cancer awareness month. Oh so okay. and um you know guys check yourselves out and Not people have this either. that's exactly what I was getting ready to say, babe. See you you in my head. You know, people <laughs> think that women are the only ones that can get breast cancer but men can also have breast cancer but even though women may have it more but ladies check yourselves out I've already had my mammogram and you know thank God that it was normal but a lot of people yes, out there you God. know um, wasn't as fortunate so you know we want to keep you know breast cancer is real we especially at the time now that people are not really going to the doctor as much as they used to yes and so. i heard that on actually an episode on the news talking about a lot of women have um women have skipped their um mammograms because of the pandemic so guys when you have a chance and you can do it it's very important to schedule your mammogram so men I mean, how do they do? Because we don't really get mammograms. So, I'm just thinking, how do they catch um, men breast cancer? Is I'm, it something like you feel a hurting or something in your chest or something? I'm sure it's some type. Because I don't know a lot is about more it. Muscle. So well, I, some of us. I really don't like talking muscle. about subjects that I'm not really um, right. educated I'm just, I'm on. I'm just trying to figure it out. If anybody know that question, let me know. Um, we have a male friend that 
he has suffered with it. So we yeah, but I'm just trying to figure out: Do you is it a hurting or something that you feel, or a lump that you feel in your chest? And most women, that's what you know. A lot of them feel a lump. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm sure a man may feel the same thing. Mm -hmm. But it's just um, a lump, not no pressure. The good like thing that. about it is, you know, most of the time when you have a yearly mammogram, you can catch it before you actually feel it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh -huh. so I think once you feel it, you don't know what stage it may be in or may not. So I'm not an expert on it, guys. But anyway, just is important to check yourselves out. Care about yourself. Yeah, if anybody know that nurses or anything know the answers to that, especially about the men. Well, We're just I'm curious. Somebody that I'm very close to can really give me the answer to that question. Mm -hmm. But that's what she does. But anyway, um, guys, I think Craig was talking about types of abuse. You know, whether well, Mm -hmm. Physical, mental, um, whether you just abusing your body through the things that you eat. I mean, even what we eat now, it looks like it's like, that's not even good what y'all eating. But we're on a special diet. So we're cutting out. Well, a, I don't even call it a diet. It's like a lifestyle. So a special, right. We're, we're cutting out carbohydrates and sweets. So therefore, we are eating like more protein and vegetables vegetables and stuff like that but and less carbs we eat some carbs but not as many but you know when certain things make me really excited um like last week one of my customers told me she was like i told you i was going to talk about you miss p so anyway she's been following us on facebook not on Facebook, I'm sorry, <laughs> on YouTube. Sometimes we post on Facebook, but anyway, on YouTube. And I'm telling you, when I looked at her, I could tell that she had lost weight, but I didn't know how much. But when she shared with me that she was at 244 pounds, and now I think she was at like 188 or 89, that excited me, okay? And I try to share with um, my, our YouTube channel with our customers, you know, not because you're overweight, you know, but most of them, you know, that I share, you know, they're overweight, but just to share our channel because even though they may not be overweight, they may have a family member or a loved one mm -hmm. that want to change their lifestyle. So I will share it with, you know, my customers. Okay, but... I don't know. I probably sh shouldn't say this, but it does disturb me when I share things and they seem excited and they ask me questions and then I see them like eating, like drinking a regular drink, a bag of chips and a cake or something like that. And they are swollen. Their feet are swollen. Their legs are swollen. And I'm like, you shouldn't be eating that. <laughs> yeah, but people got choices and they want to yeah. do what they want to do. So I think, especially during the pandemic time, everybody like want to do what you want to do, you know, and and that's okay, you know. But just don't don't kill yourself doing it, you know. Anything that's trying to kill you, let it go, you know. Let it go. You know, you know like when you know you diabetic and you drinking a regular soda. You're drinking, uh, eating a cupcake. Yes, yeah, better salute, better things too. This, I mean, this is better stuff that you can still eat mm -hmm. and be happy. I've never, um, since I've been on keto, I've never really been hungry. Me neither. Mm-hmm. Cause now I've been, um, well, yeah, Omed. No, yeah, Omed. Right. Okay. Di okay. Different. Omed. Now you feel your, 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 your body hungry. do go through some issues. Yeah, girl. But drink your water. If you drink that water, that hunger will go away. But keto, it's no reason for you to be hungry because you it's plenty of food to eat. Now, if you hungry, really hungry in your stomach, then something wrong. You know. I think it's mm. more so feeling deprived. Deprived? We never felt deprived. No, because we may have been hungry because we did the OMAD. Right. But deprived 
it's you know different. You know? Right. And sometimes, like I know, I've been when starting, especially on Omer. Once you you feel that hunger, you drink some water. That hunger go away, and you get energy from somewhere that you don't even know where you getting it from, but it's in your body. So if you can hold off, drink that water, you'll be fine. You ain't gonna die. All of us got some extras that we can go off of before we ain't gonna die. <laughs> You're not gonna die. So you just gotta train your body, and back to giving stuff up. You gotta let it go. Let it go. This is a better plan if you're trying to lose weight. If you're not trying to lose weight, whatever issues that you got that's trying to kill you, get out of it. You know, whether it's drugs, selling drugs, or whatever. If it's trying to kill you, you can sleep at night. Um, you just feel you crying or whatever situation, even domestic abuse. Get out of it. She didn't throw that plate up, y'all. You know what I thought about um, this week? Like, relationship issues. This is what I can't understand. If you, were, if you were in an abusive relationship, right? You guys are fighting, whether it's physical or verbally fighting, all the time. There's constantly issues, you know, doing your courtship. What do you get married? Mm. I don't know. They, people think they're going to change. People it's, think they're going to change. You think it's a misconception and that I when you get married? I especially think, especially for women, mm -hmm. I think they think they can change a person. Their mind. Their mind. Mm -hmm. If they do everything, if they iron the clothes, if they cook the food, if they do everything, they're going to change it. Well, you but, know, I can remember mm -hmm. dating, you know, part of my dating with Craig. And we talked about things. We talked about what was important to us in life, you know, the things that were important. We talked about our goals. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like we never had an argument, okay? But one thing, we don't disrespect each other. Mm -mm. No arguing from our kids, neither. Yeah, you know. We got and, an issue, we talk about it separately. And we talk about it. We don't, like, blow up at each other and be, like, cutthroat. We talk about it, and we have agreed to disagree. Mm -hmm. A lot of things now, we don't have the same, um, we don't really agree to everything, mm -hmm. but we understand that he has an opinion, and I have an op opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Men, what, men are from Mars, and women are from Venus? Mm -hmm. You know, we're different. If we were the same, then how can we, you know, accomplish anything, you mm -hmm. know? I find good things out of him that can help me. He find good things out of me that can help him. Sometimes I explain certain things to him and he's like, oh babe, I never look at it that way. Same thing, he explained things to me and I was like, oh, mm -hmm. you got a point there. You got to be open-minded. Mm -hmm. Everybody is not perfect. Everybody, you know, everybody's answer is not the right answer. It just depends on the situation. I love the differences in people. Right. You know, I have Hispanic friends, white friends, um, Filipino friends. I love all the different kind of changes in culture and foods and stuff. It's, it's always different stuff. It's exciting, you know. Yeah. Haitian friends. We have friends from Dominican the Dominican friends. And I mean, when we get together, you know, we may not all be together at the same time, but it's been like, um, We've had like Indian friends, yeah. Um, Brazil American from Indian. Brazilian, mm -hmm. Brazilia, Cuba, um, Cuban, yeah, Bahamas, Cuba, Cuba. <laughs> I'm getting all tongue twisted and everything. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we've had all been in one place at the same time, yeah. And we have definitely enjoyed ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, we respect one another. People need to stop being scared of people in their culture. Enhance the culture of the people. Go out when, if you're a Caucasian, go out to an African um, American um, art fest or something. Go out and learn some about somebody else's culture. Eat their food, you know? Um, I think it's, it's awesome. And we're gonna video some stuff too. Once we come out of this pandemic, these different cultures and different things, mm -hmm. we go to some of these things and we can see some of the food. We're not that different as we think. Stop being so scared about yeah. somebody. We have some really good um, Haitian friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, look. Yeah, we love them. I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. Before I met them, I did not eat beans and rice. <laughs> Definitely did not eat goat. 
Mm-hmm. Comp. No, uh, Comp, that was friend. from Bohemian Friends. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, love me some beans and rice. Mm-hmm. You know, um, goat is very good. Um, my Bohemian Planting. friends, right, planting. Mm-hmm. They hooked us up with Comp. You know, their parents came from the, um, we were living in Ohio at the time. Their parents came mm-hmm. and fixed some Comp. It was very good. You know, and I, we have some Mexican friends. Yep. Love our Mexican friends. Huh? Love our Mexican friends. I'm we telling you. Friends. Yes. Enhance your culture. Your picture. Yes. Caucasian your friends. Man. Love them. So, you know, guys, just don't stick with. I know maybe back then, you know, things were different. You know, you were told different, you know, black folks this way, white folks this way. Look, there is good and bad in every, every race. Yes, I don't race. care what you are. You're going to have the good and you're going to mm-hmm. have the bad. So we can't just put us put everybody in one bucket and say that they are the same. Mm-mm. So we need to get away from that. And Love people. And human beings. each other. You know, God made us all. He made us all. So... We love each other. We gotta love each other, right? And stop. So this prejudice stuff. This stuff got to go. Babe, I've been talking so much. I want to ask you about these pancakes because I know they better. I like them better. What you do? (laughs) I like them better. I mean, they still not. I know they not. They're still not um cracker barrel. barrel. Okay, but I'm saying you know sugar free guys, sugar free. And you know what, guys? Another thing, I, we probably gonna get off of the domestic abuse thing. I think we just talking about people in general. My YouTube friends, mm-hmm. y'all might not know it, but some of you guys, I feel like I know you for yes. real. Yes. I'm telling you, you feel just like you my auntie or my sister or mm-hmm. my brother. I'm telling you. Yeah. Y'all might not know it, but YouTube family, you guys are important to me. To yeah, us. thanks for the support. Yes. Mm-hmm. Especially, y'all been, y'all been pouring it out. Pouring the love out. And you know what, guys? I'm, I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all always talking about my cutie slushies. Mm-hmm. One day, I'm going to make different colors and varieties of my cutie slushies to show y'all exactly what I do, okay? I just mm-hmm. got to find time to do that because I'm rushing a lot. Mm-hmm. You ready in, baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a what? Comment. Mm-hmm. So we can come check your page out. We're so excited about what we're doing, and we're excited about keto and Omed and all the things that we do with people and to help people. And we see people are losing weight. So to y'all, we say thank you, and we said peace out, y'all. Peace out. Peace out, and God God bless. bless.